Let's dive into the 14 truths that you need to know about life. All right, so thing number one I wanna to talk to you about is the curse of waiting. So here's what happens. We're kind of taught to do things sequentially in life, right? Like, hey, we're gonna do one thing at a time. We're gonna wait, wait until the time is right, wait until it's perfect, wait until this happens, wait until the season is right, wait until, wait until I have enough money, wait until I've learned the thing, right? And you know what ends up happening? You end up waiting so long, you lose the opportunity. There's an opportunity cost to waiting in life. Truth number two is, on your journey to self-mastery, you will lose 99% of your friends. You will scare them because they will not understand why you're so committed to self-development, self-actualization, making more money, becoming a better human, stopping the alcohol. You won't have things in common anymore. And so in your process, in your journey of self-development, you will lose 99% of your friends. Truth number three, no one is coming to save you. And as much as you think that whether it's the government or your mom and dad or someone is gonna come and save you, they're not, not even the cops. You are the knight on the white horse that's gonna gallop in and save yourself, save your family. But if you constantly feel like you are entitled, you're owed, and someone needs to come in and save you, it's just the way it needs to be, you're always gonna be disappointed because there's no one coming to save you. Truth number four, the government and the politicians are all liars and they're corrupt and they will never fix your problems. That's the reality. Now, look, I'm not saying don't be active in voting for a competent president. So make no mistake about it. The government, the politicians, they are not to help you to solve your problems. They're all liars and corrupt. And you are the number one problem solver in your life. Like if you want to make more money, don't hope for less taxes. Learn to earn more money. Learn to manage your money. Don't spend money you don't have buying shit that you don't need to impress people that you don't like. Truth number five you're gonna need a lot more money than you think. And by the time you realize that, it's gonna be too late. And I say this with love, fellas, like if you are not of the mindset that I need 10X, 50X, 100X more money than I'm making, what's wrong with having a surplus? Because you could always give it away to your favorite church, charity, or cause. You can help more people. But when you are lacking money, you become a liability. You become someone who now is reliant on the rest of us. You become a burden on the rest of us. So I'm here to tell you that you're gonna need a lot more money in life than you think. Truth number six, you'll be a lot happier if you stop blaming your parents for all your problems. Like there's no other way to say that. Your parents weren't perfect. They did the best they could. Maybe they divorced. Maybe they're crazy. Maybe one's crazy and one's not. Who knows? They did the best they could with what they had. Now that you're an adult, it's on you. If you're repeating the crazy patterns, then you are equally as nuts. You gotta stop blaming the parents for the problems that you have and start taking personal responsibility. Truth number seven, train yourself to let stupid people win arguments. If you're arguing with stupid people, you're never gonna win. Like you've got common sense, they don't. You're rational, they're not. You have a better understanding of the topic, they don't. They're emotional and they're gonna constantly spew out stupidity. So the greatest advice I can give you, the greatest truth I can give you here in life is to train yourself to let stupid people win arguments. Your life will be better for it. Number eight, learn how to direct and control your attention. Because if you can learn how to direct and control your attention, that is one of the greatest superpowers you can develop. One of the biggest determining factor of someone's success, their ability to get what they want in life is to be able to focus their attention on something and keep it on that thing for a prolonged period of time. To direct your attention and then to control your attention on the thing that matters. Truth number nine, women are biologically, they biologically detest weakness in men and they reject fragile men. There's nothing more powerful for a man to get from his woman than respect. They rely on us to provide. They rely on us to protect. They rely on us to be steady. It is their role to be gentle, to be emotional. And that is a good thing because we need both energies under one roof. We need the feminine energy. We need the masculine energy. Could you imagine if it was all feminine 
or if it was all masculine, there would be a off balance of energies. Truth number 10, most people will not understand your obsession, your drive, and your determination. Success is a lonely journey. That's just a reality. And most people are not gonna understand why you're so driven, why you're so obsessed. And if you try and make them understand, you're gonna end up frustrated. The best advice I can tell you is, go on the journey by yourself. It is the best journey, man. Leveling up, making more money, losing weight, getting fit, becoming the best version of yourself is the fucking most awesomest journey you will ever go on. But it's a journey that you will probably go on by yourself. Most people will not understand the level of obsession required. They will not understand the level of drive and determination that it takes for you to become that person. And when you try and help them understand, you'll find yourself frustrated. Truth number 11, the fastest way to losing yourself is to try and make everyone else happy. Know what your core values are, know what your belief system is, know what your morals and your character should be, and live by that. You will attract the right people to you, and they, you won't have to try and make everybody happy. They will be similar to your energy. They will organically be happy. And what you need to understand is that happiness is an inside job. And so if you're the type of person that has taken on this mission of trying to make everybody happy, I'm telling you right now, you're going to end up being very disappointed and you're going to lose yourself and find yourself sad and depressed and anxious because you've just given so much of yourself and you can't. There's got to be some kind of refilling up your own cup. There's got to be some kind of self-care that has to happen. Truth number 12, your body is a direct reflection of your mental and emotional state. You know it to be true. I know it to be true. It's, it's just a fact. If you are a few pounds overweight, if you're out of shape, if your health is suffering, odds are your mental and emotional state is struggling as well. And if you want to improve your mental and emotional state, start in the one place that you have absolute control over, your body, your health. You can control every single day. You can control what you eat and how much thunder you bring during a workout. You can control that. You may not be able to control how your boss treats you, you may not be able to control how your wife or girlfriend feels about you today. You may not be able to control a lot of other variables, but the thing that you can control is how your body looks and feels. Truth number 13, you are not special and no one owes you anything. <laughs> it's a fact. Now your mom and dad may have told you you're special. Society may tell you that you're special. You're not. No one owes you nothing. And the sooner you figure that out, the better life will be. Because if you walk around life feeling like you're owed something and that you're special, one, you're gonna be an entitled little bitch. Two, you're gonna be constantly let down by people. They wanna tell you you're special. They wanna tell you that you deserve success. You deserve happiness. No, you don't. You don't deserve it. You can go out and get it. You can go earn it. You can work your ass off to acquire it. You don't deserve it any more than I deserve it. Finally, truth number 14, your parents were wrong about most things. That's a fact. Your parents were wrong about a lot of things. Today, technology moves so quick. Like they're telling you, go, go to college, go get, a, go get a great job. Go to college for what? What do you need to go to college for? Unless you're gonna be a, a doctor, an accountant, a lawyer, an architect, an engineer, something that specifically requires a high level of education. What do you need to go to college for? Sociology? Are you kidding me? to get a MBA, a master's in business administration. Motherfucker, do you think I have an MBA? I have seven companies. I make hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Do you think that there's any university, Harvard or Yale, that would have taught you how to run a business and how to maintain the success of that business during a pandemic? Is there any fucking MBA that teaches you that? If you realize that your parents are wrong about most things, you will start questioning. And it is okay to start questioning your parents. I'm not saying stand right there and question them in person, but I am suggesting that you might want to go, you know what, let me research this. So if they're like, man, don't start a business, you'll fail. Do you know how hard it is to start a business? Yeah, it was hard back in the day. Today, you can go find mentors. You can, you can follow people on Instagram, read books, watch YouTube channels, and literally over a six month period, develop the knowledge, the wisdom to be able to go out and execute. Now, is that going to make you successful? I don't know. But what it will do is help you 
avoid a lot of pitfalls that you would have gotten fallen into if you didn't know this stuff, right? So your success rate, your chance of success, your probability of success is much higher. So understand that your parents were wrong about a lot of things and that's okay. They come from a different generation. They come from different experiences. They don't didn't have access to what you have access to. And it's okay to question everybody and everything because this is your life. You're the star in your own life. I don't know if you know that or not, but one of the greatest movies I've seen is the movie of Bedros Koulian. And I watch it every day. And every day, a new chapter, a new episode comes out. It's my fucking life. Why would I live a life that someone else would want me to live? I didn't push my kids towards any direction. I just said, here's, through my experience, here's how life works, son. Here's how life works, daughter. If you want my counsel beyond this, I'm here for you. Otherwise, here's how I know about how life works. But go out there and experience. Say yes to the adventures. Follow the path that most people don't. Figure things out. Say yes to the experiences. You will find the path that's meant for you. And that's a pretty fucking cool thing.